Well, <laughs> fancy, somehow, she didn't have to tug my arm too hard, talk me out of not getting some work done today and rolling with her to... McKinney. McKinney, she's going to... I got home super late, and Shay stayed up waiting on me, and then we stayed up late together. That's what I'm good at. Yep. Then I was up early. I had to get the kids. And he left Astro in bed. I uh, well, I had to get so the kids. I had got to me get up at seven thirty. I had to get the kids ready for school ready for and make snacks because Mav Man has the star test. He had the reading today, math yesterday, which I know the teachers stress out about the star test and some kids, but. I will, Which I, will I hate say, that for the ones that do. Ma yeah. Our kids have never stressed about it. Yeah, Mav, Mav's about like, it. I'm like, it's, it's a no, test. Just go take it. It's You'll no do big great. deal. He's like, it was easy yesterday, but, but anyways, but we have to go back to the school. We're headed back to the school because Shug's oh. teacher emailed me <laughs> and said, Memphis wanted me to email you to say that he left his lunch in Dad's truck. So. Yeah. We're headed back to the school. Look at this good farmland. I think we need a vineyard. Maybe we should buy this right here, baby, with the vineyard. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would be great winery owners. <laughs> oh. Does anybody want think the Copelands should build a winery in Texas? C6 Winery. Shay is no farmer. He doesn't like farming at all. But you could hire it. My dad has a tractor. <laughs> Oh, well, we would have to have a dry silly. <laughs> my dad could do the farming. Oh, my goodness. He knows how to farm. I don't really even like wine. I do. <laughs> People love wine and country music and a cool feel. I've always got all these ideas floating around in my head. Yeah. Ideas are a dime a dozen. People that implement them are priceless. Who said that? Someone. Walt Disney, I think. So, why are you so cute? Look at you in that video. <laughs> You're handsome. You stayed up late. My so wife now is silly. He's going with me to my lash. So, me and Mav and Shug we were listening to the rail this morning, and they had this question. And it was, What? One of these three things could you do without? And the and the three things were one was a washing machine, two a refrigerator, three a smartphone. Washing machine. And so I immediately I knew that I, I didn't have to really think about it. Which I know that I'm I currently. The tractor was on his phone. I'm currently on my smartphone making a video. I could do without a washing machine. You but, can take your clothes to the dry cleaners. But, well, that's true. But I could do without a smartphone. Uh, honestly, I I literally I hate phones. I hate cell phones. I mean, I know that they're they're great. We use them. It's everything's on. It's like a little computer in your hand. It's Shay completely had a flip convenient. Phone until a year yeah. Ago. <laughs> no, that's a lie. That's a lie. But I did have a flip phone still <laughs> when when smartphones time. were out. I really because here's the deal. I work outside. I'm so I like to the flip phone because it fit in my pocket. I never broke it. It was fine since I've had smartphones. I got cracked screens. Can we do that today? Let's go by the store and see about me and they broke and all this crud. It's just awful. But anyways, so I need a new phone, y'all. So Mav, he looks, he looks. Um, one of the guys that that was on the radio said he could do without a refrigerator. Oh my lord! No. Which they said no. a lot of young single people that would probably be fine because they eat out all the time. <laughs> But Mav, Mav looks at me and goes, well, where would they put the milk? 
exactly right. First thing we do on trips, where's the fridge? We're stocking it up with so, our cold drink. Milk. And so, yes. I mean, we literally go through about four gallons of milk every two weeks. Yes. So, our family... Our bones are strong. <laughs> our family loves milk. Yes. So, anyways, I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. So, C6 fam, here's the question, I guess. Mm -hmm. Post your comments. What you, what, what, we want to what, know you. What, what one of the three things could you do without? So, they are a washing machine, a refrigerator, or a smartphone. So, there's the question question of the day anyways so it's gonna be a fun day y'all stay with us because we are this is a trick on tuesday and you're gonna get to meet kendra today kendra's doing my lashes and we've had some requests i'm gonna video not the whole thing oh i'm like good lord <laughs> just a little <laughs> just a little this will be on tuesday segment right here right here y'all we're doing it. We're out. Peace. So Shay and I have been talking and making Easter plans. One thing, we're trying to plan something really cool for the Easter egg hunt for our kids. We always do a fun hunt. I mean, we do. Our, our teenage kids would hunt eggs because we've made it fun with prizes. Oh, so, prizes. Money. <laughs> so they wanted to hunt. So it's always been fun. So we're trying to think of something really cool. Oh, is this where you turn? I don't turn here. Um, My wife, she doesn't know how to get to the school. No, I go around. Yeah, this, this is way. the best way. She thinks he knows the best of everything. I, well, I come here. He's a real bossy. I come here so, every day. This is... Um, So then we were talking about what all of our plans are because we've got his family and my family. So we're going to church with his sister and brother. They're coming to our church. So I made a dinner reservation and the place I made our dinner reservation after church, if you, okay, so I made it for X amount of people. I think it's like nine. No, it's more than that. It's 10. I made, for, I made it for 10. If you go above 10, you have to call a banquet manager. This is how all the nice restaurants are in where we live. If you make a reservation for more than 10 people, you've got to call a banquet manager and have a $2,000 minimum and sign all these contracts with your credit card that you'll pay this if the bill's not that much to have more than 10 people on a reservation. Now, I'm sorry, I just find it crazy because we have six plus two in our family always, so that's eight. Which, here's the deal that's like, people like make fun of us because it's like an entourage with us because it's always we been- We take everyone. It's always been like that. Um, yeah. We've always- Gone on vacation. Gone on vacations and we let the kids take friends and, and we take people too and I mean, so it's like 15 of us trying so to check we, in at the airport so we roll <laughs> we're rolling in heavy with lots of peeps so, so it's just like i feel like for me though restaurants if you're watching because we do eat at a lot of nice restaurants and we love perry's but if you want to make this big reservation You've got to, like, plan a banquet. Well, we just want to go to dinner with our family after church. <laughs> we just, We're going to pay. We don't, we, we don't have a problem. But we don't, we don't want to sign, want, we don't we don't want to sign, sign a contract, contract to, have dinner. to have dinner with our family. <laughs>
Hello, how you doing? This is what I do. I just come relax, let Kendra do her thing. And you're only 25 minutes late for your appointment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kendra loves me. He did me. have to throw you under the bus, didn't he? Yeah, he always does. <laughs> always. He loves for everyone to know that I do a lot of wrong stuff. <laughs> what does it feel like somebody messing with your lashes? It feels like nothing. I don't like. You don't feel anything. You don't? Mm -mm. It would feel weird to me, somebody messing with my eyes. You get used to it. Mm -hmm. It can be quite it's relaxing. Easy. It is. I fall asleep, haven't I, Kendra? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm just asleep. Mm -hmm. lunch we just had a great lunch and we're on the McKinney Square I don't know if you can see in the McKinney Square they have you can't really see too good cops, on, cops horses. on horses I love it Texas. which they do in Fort Worth too we have the best day but ever. actually one of the no cops way. he has a, a horse the same color Looks as just like pepper pepper mm -hmm. which that's buckskin for all you non-horse non -horse people, people. <laughs> It's a great day. Yep. Oh, look. Yeah, her lashes are done. I gotta get the rest of my makeup on now. So I wanted to video this. My wife, she said that she needed to drive today, which I'm totally cool with it. I'm fine. No big deal riding. I get car sick. Yeah. This car makes me so. The aerodynamics of this car. Not this one. It's not that bad. It makes me car sick. I get car sick in this So. Car. There's been a couple of different incidents, incidences, incidents. I, I can't talk today. A couple of things. See, I'm not the one. Whatever. It's you. I, it's you, not instances, me. Instances. It's you, not me. Instances that have happened today with her driving. I mean, we've lived, we've been around this area for a long time in, in the city or as far as coming to the city. This is McKinney. And my wife, she doesn't know how to get around. She's like making weird, okay. weird turns no. and just like. She likes me to go certain ways. but Certain also, ways? We're going to one place that it's on one certain road. And she's like, oh. Well, I'm, and I was like, I'm concerned about her. I might need to have her take her in to have her head checked. Stop. <laughs> I'm real concerned. I'm concerned about you. Well, you know, <laughs> I think that he gets my creative juices flowing, and I'm talking. So you don't know I where miss you're going. The exit. Oh. It has nothing to do with my age. Oh, I got it you. It has nothing to do. It's just like I'm thinking, well, and I'm like, "That's I a great you. idea. Let's do it, baby." I've been doing. Yes. I've, I'll, okay, I'll give you slack then, because I've That's done why, that. So I'm before. not thinking about taking the exit. Well, like, when I you're, knew you said take El Dorado. Well, you're the driver. You have to be the driver. And I am so windblown. <laughs> we're, you know what we're doing? We're going to wash my car. It needs it really bad. The kids have pitted it out. It's filthy. And we have been so busy. It's like we keep just living in the car. My truck's just as bad. So these are Except, definitely Cadillac Confessions. Which today, this is hilarious. I said, because the kids were like... Are we taking Mama's car? I was like, no, just take my truck. And I got in the mud yesterday, and there's mud all over it. My mirrors. And Memphis goes, your truck's dirty. Yeah, like, we need I'm, like, clean. I'm like, it'll be okay. I got to get a hold of Dwayne. He's so, going to do my windshield. So Everything's about to be winter. It's turning into spring. Yep. Time to get those things, things fixed done. and cleaned clean. and clean. Spring clean. Of. This car's getting spring clean. But my arm's hurting, so we're out. I thought you had big muscles. I do. My shoulder hurts. Oh, 
<laughs> We're at the car wash. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. The inside is not clean. And see, we have fancy. Well, we just left the car wash. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> First of all, it's like the windiest day ever. <laughs> My hair is a disaster. But it oh. is. So here's the here's the here's what happened. So we pulled in, you know, and they come out with their little sheet to say how much it is, and we pick a package. Well, then Kimberly's like, well, I'm going to make sure that I get this and this and this and this done. And the girl goes, oh. I showed her. Yeah. And the girl's like, you you have to upgrade to a different package. You have to and pay Kimberly, more money. Pay more money. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. This is what I want done. I just want this done. So, okay. So, Tell we, me what to we pay. pay more money. So, then they raise their little towel that our car's done. So, we get out here. I was just jumping in. Not. Nah, and which is, this is a common occurrence with the car washes that you got to do it again or i mean i just found well, they I miss just, they, they miss things everything. but they missed everything they didn't want they were supposed to wipe that down was, the whole interior that was the worst car wash I've ever so kimberly's seen. trying to tell the guy i said just give me the rag she's like just give me the rag <laughs> and she starts it. cleaning it i got it done. then the head guy comes over He's, and he starts cleaning he was very nice yeah, he starts cleaning i just you got to get your arm into it they hadn't, it's just, they hadn't done anything. Apparently, I love to throw money away. That's what I figured out. But you got it. When it comes to things like this, it's like, I'll pay whatever they tell me to do what I'm asking, but then they don't do what I ask. But. So, I'll just do it. Just give me the rag. I'll, let me pay you to watch me clean my car. <laughs> The guy, he hands Kimberly the rag and he just walks away. She's like, let me show you. He just walks away. Let me show you how to clean. <laughs> so oh, the moral of the story is, <laughs> no matter how big a job or small a job you have, do it with excellence. Do it with excellence. Oh, it's crazy. People. It's a crazy world. People. It is. Okay. I got to use their cleaning supplies thing. Yeah. Because they could have done that in my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Just do it yourself. That's what I'm learning. You want it done? Just do it. Don't pay somebody to do it. Save your money. No. See, this is another lesson for me to no. save money. People need to be reliable. <laughs> like that's Just where we need to change. Be reliable. Do, do things with excellence. That's good.